is a national emergency. It is not a small matter anymore. We have been on this topic for a few years now, but we in the Interior Ministry are convinced that unless we address this, past, this cancer and this problem with finality, we stand to lose the next generation of Kenyans who will take over and take forward this country when everybody seated here will be gone. Your Excellency, I would like to clarify that we are not against licensed traders in alcohol. Traders who are allowed to engage in trade in alcohol, they have been licensed and they are selling products which have been given approval by the Kenya Revenue Authority, the Anti-Counterfeit Agency, the Kenya Bureau of Standards, which are agencies of government, have nothing to fear. And I want to direct all officers involved in this crackdown not to use the excuse of this fight to harass, intimidate, extort money from legitimate traders and business people who are engaged in the business of alcohol. We have already received reports. Some of our officers have taken advantage of the effort that Your Excellency are leading to harass business people who are selling products which have been approved by government agencies. And even if I know we've had another discussion about how many licenses should be issued, that is a different discussion. Any trader, any business person who is selling products which are licensed and they have been approved by the agencies of government should not be harassed simply because of this crackdown. This crackdown, Your Excellency, is on illicit alcohol, toxic alcohol, which is laced with poisonous substances, which is ruining the health of our children, our men and women, which is breaking our families, and which is affecting economic development, as well as narcotic drugs and psychotropic substances. I hope all officers have heard me. So in this